15 years ago, less than 40% of Massachusetts residents supported decriminalization of marijuana. I am very proud to say that today, the most recent poll data show that 70% of Massachusetts voters support decrim. We are going to get yes on two. I want you to vote yes on two. We be blowing toxic chronic, bonnet blazing, smoking, puffing on that strictly by Yannick. We be blowing toxic chronic, bonnet blazing, smoking, puffing on that strictly by Yannick. Cause we love the earth. It's good. It's like a tradition. If you're from like Boston or from like the area, the you like have to go to Hemp Fest, especially if you smoke weed. We love the earth. And I want to finish off with just a little bit of a chant here. I'm gonna say no more. I want to hear drug war. You guys got that? No more. No more. No more. going to get decriminalization, the law will be more equal, it will be more evenly enforced, it will be more just. Keith Sanders, the current president of MassCan, the Massachusetts Cannabis Reform Coalition, and sponsoring organization of this, the 19th Annual Freedom Rally, which took place Saturday, September 20th on the Boston Common. Some people described it as a day of utopia, beautiful weather, free eclectic music, food and culture vendors, and the ability to light up in public without paranoia. Although the Boston Globe reported six arrests, which is way down from years past, Keith Sanders did offer this warning. Way back when in the 1970s, uh, the, when the Vietnam, the insanity of the Vietnam War was meeting the common sense of the public, um, one of our future senators in this state, John Kerry, testified before Congress and asked the Congress. Sincerely, how can you ask a man to be the last one to die for a mistake? And now that our drug war, we've gone through the insanity of our drug war and we've reached an age and a stage where the people are stepping back and saying, hey, we don't need to be held hostage to this criminalize everybody and sort the rest out later behavior. We can put together good drug laws. So I'm going to ask you right now, Please, I don't want to ask anybody to be the last person arrested on a marijuana possession charge at the Freedom Rally. The police are in the crowd, not all of them in uniform. If you do possess marijuana, you are taking a risk. Now, on the other side of it, they can only fit so many people in the holding cell, and they can't fit everybody here. I asked Bill Downing, Mass Can board member, about police activities. I haven't checked with the police yet, but I will have to do that. Mm -hmm. We always check at the end of the day to see how many arrests they've had. Oh, there's somebody going in right now. Unfortunately, the number is at least one. And in fact, that guy, I think, is a band member. So I hope their band already played. <laughs> and hopefully they're just giving citations. Hopefully they're not actually arresting people and taking them to jail. Because last year they, uh, they just handed out citations. Oh, so they're lightening up a little bit, huh? Last year they did, yep. Yep. And also, they didn't put barriers around our event, either last year or this year. Part of it might be because we successfully sued the city, and the city was ordered that its agents could not interfere with our event this year. Yes! You are now hanging with DJ Slim. That's right. And I'm smoking on my girl, Mary Jane. That's me. Y'all best believe she's as sticky as can be. <laughs> What's up, Slim? A lot of things go through my mind. Seem like only Mary Jane can Hell yeah! Talk to me. I do a lot of wondering. 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 Will there be better days? Yeah. Will they find a cure for AIDS? Yes. Will the poor be able to survive if the state stops AIDS? No. Will we make it these days? Cause it's looking real bleak. Disasters around the world. Will they stop and cease? Will no. we one day have to live in outer space for the way that we mistreated and polluted Mother Earth? Will yeah. I be around to see Judgment Day? Will I live long enough to watch my kids' kids play? Oh, I wonder if police work hard with an urgency to stop the violence, or are the murders just gonna increase? increase? I wonder if President Bush feels ashamed for all these high gas prices and the troops that's been slain. You know. The annual Freedom Rally is a hybrid between free outdoor concert and political rally against marijuana prohibition. 
In between musical acts, speakers addressed various issues of the drug war. Here in Massachusetts, we have a binding initiative on the ballot, Question 2, which calls for the decriminalization of marijuana. Keith Strope, President of Normal, the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws, appealed to attendees to vote for it. I wonder. Question two is at least going to eliminate criminal penalties for possession of an ounce or less of marijuana. A maximum $100 civil fine. So far, the support looks good. It's 65, 70% of the people in Massachusetts say they favor that. So come November, we should put an end to the practice of arresting marijuana smokers at the Boston Freedom Rally. Now, just briefly, I think it's time we got up, stood up, lit up, and let the world know how we feel. We have to come out of the closet. We cannot win our rights as long as we continue to smoke in the closet. As gays and lesbians learned years ago, it was only after a large number of courageous people were willing to stand up and come out of the closet that they largely won their rights. And that's exactly what we have to do. Your own Congressman Barney Frank has sponsored a wonderful bill in Congress H.R. 5843 would eliminate all penalties under federal law for possession of three and a half ounces of marijuana and for the not-for-profit transfer of up to one ounce of marijuana. So let your elected officials know you support this. Continue to speak out. Thank you for coming to the Boston Freedom Rally. Keith Strope of Normal, 